Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Soul Eater episode number 24. Okay, in the previous episode, um, we like we saw the demon god getting released uh, or like unsealed, whatever. And uh, like uh, the thing is now that the demon god is so powerful. Like obviously, like he was he had to be sealed by the Shinigami principle, who is considered to be the most powerful uh, of them all. So I'm guessing like either someone have to like come in like Shinigami principle or someone like of equal power to him will have to come in and help them otherwise uh, soul and his team is going to be in a bit of a problem i really don't know or otherwise another thing can happen is like uh, obviously like soul has kind of like a hidden power uh, that, that demon kind of thing the imp, little imp which is inside him and uh, like maka also probably some has something in her which the little demon was confused about it as well so like another thing can happen is like uh, soul and marker like in unlocking some kind of new power and uh, like could stall for time or something i don't know uh, let's see what happens in this episode so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with episode number 24 of soul eater okay i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three Two, one, go. Hmm. Oh yeah, an another thing, like what happened to Medusa? We'll have to see that. Yeah. Okay, like I'm really thinking is like Medusa really going to die? Like I, I don't know. Like she was like cut into half. So I don't think anyone can survive that. Hmm. Oh boy. Well, yeah, this was another thing that happened. Uh, the illusion or like uh, whatever that was, the brainwashing thing kind of yeah hallucination oh boy everything is yeah like yeah <laughs> oh boy and the demon god has returned yes <laughs> that smile <laughs> uh, that's a cute smile Oh, uh, there was another thing, like, uh, there was a fight going on between um, Blair and uh, those rats, uh, mice, weren't they, uh, there? Like, we ne like, we didn't get to see anything about that, so, like, when are they going to show that? Like, uh, the mice kind of, what can I say, fused together and, like, created a bigger mice, <laughs> like a humanoid mice kind of thing, mouse not mites sorry and 
yeah that, that was one fight that was kind of forgotten i i think like they'll probably show it later on Okay. Okay. Damn. Oh my god. This episode will be. Oh boy. Here we go. And Maka can understand, like, uh, can feel the change in, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. And there he is. Oh my god, his skin. Oh, okay. What? Oh, okay, I, that was uncomfortable. Like. Okay, this guy is quite creepy. And he's walking like some kind of... I don't know. Oh, he can't see properly. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, amazing introduction. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. Well, obviously he'll be, she'll be scared like Hmm. Um. Yeah, he was sealed for a reason. You can't kill him, or it will be difficult to kill him. Um. Okay. And he doesn't care. Oh my god. Well, this was expected. What the? What the hell is he doing with skin? Like, oh, he's like waving some kind of like cloth dress. Oh, my God, he can talk. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, what? Look. Oh no. Oh yeah, that, that fight. I, I was talking about this. Like, where did this fight go? Yeah, cat and mouse fight. Calm down, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, boy. Okay, he like took off like a rocket. Okay. <laughs> what happened to her? Like she lost consciousness or something? Yeah, like what what else is coming? What are these? Is this like the the swimming Shingami principles? Oh yeah, just seal, okay. It's trying to seal him again. Yeah. Yeah, like the real seal has been like destroyed, so um what else? What else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, so like, okay, so I was expecting this as well. <laughs> Good job, free. <laughs> and here he is, Shinigami Principal. And here he is. Okay, this will be good. Oh my god, he looks. He sounds as always. <laughs> yeah, like his mask was pretty like... Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Yes. Okay.
Hmm, I can guess, obviously, like... Okay. Damn! Okay, the principal is winning up and like for now at least. I don't know what's going to happen later on. Oh my god, he's regenerating. Oh no, the city. Yeah, like it is a disadvantageous position for the Shinigami because they're in the middle of the city. Yeah, like save the injured and like run from here, like evacuate. Hmm. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so how can you stop this guy? Like, oh, yeah, both of them are like uh, not at the full power, like, neither Shinigami Sen principle, neither the demon god. Damn. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Limited. Teacher. Oh yeah, he was. Like under him. Oh, so he's running away. Like. Okay, so. I think he's probably running away because like he has to like recover and everything. He's not at his full power. So yeah, and obviously uh, the principal can't go away from this city, like it's under his protection. So as said before, like, yeah, if he has to move, the city itself has to move. Mm, yeah, like this is an emergency. Oh no, his mask. Hmm, yeah, well, thank God he like at least did not destroy the whole city or something like I was expecting some 
kind of bad things happening but he he ran away <laughs> yeah Melissa I think it's yeah I think it's Melissa's probably dead oh what will happen to her soul like uh, like it's a witch's soul isn't it Oh no, is she alive? <laughs> oh no, oh no and she's alive oh okay <laughs> wait why did she bite him Versa, so like, is she gone? That like, what will happen now? Like, why did she bite him? Like, did she like transfer something into him or some some kind of thing like that? And Ragnarok, as always, <laughs> bullying Rona. Yeah, well, things will go on whether you like it or not. Oh my god, this guy is still like. <laughs> and she's. I, I was guessing, like, something must. She must have done, done something, like. Okay, so. Probably Medusa will come back later on. I don't know, like, like that, uh, like at the end, the scene was a big, like, indication towards something happening, like her, like, returning somehow or some way. And obviously, like another thing, like her soul, like I was under the impression that a witch's soul is extremely valuable. Like, uh, like a witch's soul is like. Uh, something that you need for that transformation that upgrade to a death site so like uh, I think like uh, when they said like she dispersed her soul uh, that was to like not I don't know like was that like some kind of prevention measure so that the others cannot collect her soul or something like that so yeah that is also another reason why like uh, I was thinking maybe Melissa will come back and at the end we see some kind of hint that yeah she's probably going to be back later on <laughs> okay so this episode hmm uh, i'm going to talk about uh, like like uh, i'm like i never expected like something like this like i, I expected at least uh, like um, what can i say uh, like our team uh, incurring some losses like I was uh, under the like I was like fully expecting that and I never expected just a sec it's over okay and I never expected um, them to like uh, not them like the uh, the demon god to flee like that like I was thinking uh, like 
maybe like they're going to fight and like somehow like uh, the city is going to get destroyed and something obviously the city was destroyed a, a bit but not in the like huge scale that i was thinking of and uh, uh, and uh, i was not i really not was not expecting him running away and uh, like and now thinking about it that is like the excuse me that is like the most sensible decision for the demon god because he like he has been barely like uh, reincarnated and he needs time to gain um, more power and like return to his previous uh, power level or something so yeah it was kind of like uh, that was the reason why he ran away or like made a tactical re retreat and uh, okay so in this episode uh, this episode was uh, like fairly straightforward nothing uh, like uh, complicated happened this was like mainly the, the demon god returning and him like having a little bit of fight with um, the shingami principle and uh, making a tactical retreat and i was i talked about this earlier as well like i was talking about how i like really wanted to see uh, the shingami principle fight and he kind of fought in this episode but obviously he did not fight with his full power because he did not have death sight with him so like in a sense my <laughs> wish kind of came true but um yeah i was like ex like ex i wanted to see like a full blown fight with like full power and them like going all out but most probably that will happen later on or it might not happen i don't know what was like whether we're going to see like some kind of full blown fight or not that even if it happens it will probably like happen a lot later and uh, that is like almost at the end of the series or something so yeah and uh, okay uh, and another thing uh, that i uh, excuse me that i uh, was like what can i say yeah another thing that i was thinking about and that kind of went like uh, happened is that as i said before like they were extremely like uh, Mark Soul and everyone else were extremely underpowered and uh, I thought like maybe like there are either two ways it can, this can go hmm, either like uh, them like Marka and Soul unlocking some kind of new power or Shinigami principle coming back because obviously like that seal is not uh, indefinite like the seal that free used so yeah the like Shinigami principle came to the rescue and obviously kind of like um what can i say saved them in a sense because uh the demon god was unable to do anything with his limited power now <coughs> and like now i'm thinking like the demon god is back so like uh, this was like medusa's what can i say real uh, objective something like that and for like people to evolve or improve uh, like twisted kind of what can I say a purpose so and now I I don't know what happened to Medusa like she is in some like some way she is probably not going to come back until later on uh, because obviously like I, she like suffered a like a huge kind of what can I say uh damage or something and i i'm not even sure if like medusa really like survived or not like i'm i'm like what can i say i'm i'm guessing that uh like from the last scene i'm just guessing that medusa maybe medusa is like uh still alive somehow or in some way that might not be correct at all like it might be like just uh what can i say a fraction of medusa's power was like left behind and that kind of like took its own form uh, like uh, took its form of a snake and ran away that might be it as well like uh, it might not be that uh, medusa is really alive or not i'm not sure but um, i don't know um but i am uh, like more what can i say i'm thinking like it has a more chance that medusa might come back like that is just my guess and that is more probable to happen because obviously the last scene was a big kind of like a hit but it might also not happen like uh, it might be something else, completely something else I'm like uh, maybe medusa really is dead like she is gone and uh, the snake might be something else i don't know that is like just uh my what can i say my guesswork so yeah 
okay and uh, uh, what else oh yeah and obviously like the 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 best thing that uh, the demon god could do was run away because principle is what can I say uh, fixed to this place he cannot move and I, I doubt I, I don't know if he like knew that and that is the reason why he ran away or not but like that was uh, a wise decision for him and I'm thinking like what are they going to do now like uh, free um, Elka or Eruka as they say <laughs> um and uh, the mice I, I don't know the name anyways um what are they going to do now like they like the job was to like free the demon god they did it now what like 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 i don't know what they're going to do now obviously like medusa is not here as well and without like some kind of a proper leader or something someone who gave them instructions I'm quite curious, like, what are they going to do next? <clears throat> and uh, obviously, like, the others, like, uh, the principal, he, he like, asked the demon, uh, uh, not demon, uh, he asked the death sites, and, like, I think they're respected masters to come here, like, in uh, Shibusen. And uh, so, I'm guessing in the next episode, most probably we'll get to see quite a few new characters. Or like in like one or two more episodes, or in a, in the like in the span of a few more episodes, we're going to like be uh, introduced to a few more characters alongside with their um, uh, weapons. And uh, I'm also guessing like maybe like they're going to like uh, what can I say? Include Krona as well, like uh, like make him like enroll in the academy, and she was an academy and like train him alongside uh, uh, Maka, Soul and uh, everyone else so that is like uh, the most that is the most chance of happening because obviously uh, Krona is now uh, a changed person and she he would probably uh, fight alongside them and Ragnarok like would probably like go along with whatever Krona does because as I said before like Ragnarok is more like um, what can I say? A sibling who like who bullies his or her uh, uh, younger sibling, or something like that. Like they have a more like a sibling relationship. Even though he like punches and hits uh, Krona, I'm like I'm. What can I say? I think like uh, whatever Krona does, he'll like help him. Uh, not help him, but he will go alongside with him. So yeah, and. Uh, <coughs> Okay, what else was in this episode? Let's just check. Mm. Oh, and the demon god. Well, we got to see his face, like his proper face, a little bit, like his mask, not mask, but that like kind of thing that is like covering his head. It kind of like uh, showed his real face later on. And he has an interesting character design like um, that's a quite interesting character design uh, like he wait a minute i i really did not i noticed I, i'm noticing this now like uh, the demon god he looks a lot like um kid doesn't he like his hair like it is a lot like kid like kid has like this type of hair and like this uh, shade of white and black and yeah he now that i'm looking at him properly he looks like extremely identical to kid or this is is it just like my what can i say my mistake so um he also called uh, him uh, like uh, the principal sensei most probably because like he was under uh like uh, the leadership of Shinigami principal previously and that's why he like most probably calls him sensei or but uh, as I said before like Shinigami principal must have a real face like that is a mask that he's wearing that's not his real face like I made a mistake before of thinking like that was his real face but no that is most probably not the case I think like he has a real face like a human being but uh like 
I don't know like uh, I don't know why but the demon god like looks a lot like kid and it might be like my mistake or something or like I'm like overthinking this but yeah we'll probably like see or maybe like they like kind of like uh, what can I say used kids design to design the demon god as well I don't know anything like anything might be the case and okay and later on um, when Medusa died and all um, he kind she kind of like bit Stein I don't know if that is some what can I say some kind of foreshadowing about something or not but it might be the case because like the things that Medusa does each and everything has kind of like like a purpose and I doubt she like randomly bit him I, I don't think like she just randomly bit him there must be something that she did there so I don't know uh, like this is just my guess uh, I might be completely wrong but and also like the snake at the end that also kind of like, serves as a hint that Medusa uh, like uh, somehow Medusa will be back or something she'll be doing later on I don't know And now I, I think in, in the next few episodes, most probably like they'll uh, introduce the new uh, characters, like the new dead sites and all. And like it will be like more uh, centered towards the introduction and uh, what can I say? Um, the uh, rebuilding of this uh, like uh, city and all and something. I I I think like they'll be like taking a break from this like uh, continuous fighting because like this arc is. Uh, how many from uh, like throughout how many episodes is this arc going on most probably uh, four or five episodes i think so like this was uh, quite a bit like quite a sizable amount of time they took for this arc so i'm guessing like they're probably going to take a break and then i can start with all the serious stuff and uh, yeah so yeah uh, there were a few um, a lot of things happened in this episode a lot of things happened uh, like the story completely changed and now they have to like uh, prepare for uh, whatever the demon god is going to do and like uh, live in anticipation and like live in like thinking like yeah like anywhere anywhere at any uh, time the demon god can attack so they'll have to like prepare and everything and become stronger so that they can survive the next round and uh, yeah so yeah guys that was episode number 24 of soul eater um yeah this was like a, a quite an entertaining episode i enjoyed it uh, quite a bit because obviously like they had like had a mini little fight with principal and uh, uh, the demon god and uh, i have to say like uh, their attacks and their what can i say powers uh even though like they were not at full power uh, the fight was quite intense so I'm, I'm just guessing like what how much intensive the fight will be if they were like in the full powers uh, so yeah okay uh, so yeah guys that was episode number 24 if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to share anything you want to say in, about this episode or anything I'll be sure to check them out and I'll be back with a new soul eater episode uh, next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day.